was unveiled this week. Shell series runner Chris Smerton and young gun Cameron McConville showed off their new Anderson Consulting BP V8. McConville already has a national Formula Ford crowd under his belt and was outstanding at the mountain last year in the second Dick Johnson Falcon. I haven't really dwelled on the past too much and you only get a sore shoulder from a sore neck from looking over your shoulder so you know I'm looking to forward to the future and I think this is uh, one step towards uh, racing you know more permanently next year. The weather may have been cool but it didn't stop an estimated 14,000 fans from turning out of Mount Panorama on Tuesday for the inaugural Tui's hot August lap. Celebs were out in force including Paul Mercurio and one Australia skipper John Bertrand. They both looked a little pale after hot lapping with Wayne Gardner and Glenn Seaton. Gardner's Coca-Cola team looked solid for October, with former winner Wynn Percy back in harness. I took a manager's job this year back in England, but uh, no, it wasn't for me. And when this opportunity came up, well, back to normal. Mark Scaife was fastest in the two practice sessions, reeling off a couple of record-breaking low 12s in the Winfield Commodore. Glenn Seaton and Dick Johnson were right behind him in their Falcons, as Alan Jones paid tribute to Ford's aero package. Aerodynamics is amazing. A lot of people, have, all the kerfuffle that's going on about next year about aerodynamics not making any difference. We've got exactly the same horsepower now as what we had last year, and Glenn's over a second quicker, and it's just strictly down to aerodynamics, and the car does feel a lot better. As you'd expect, Peter Brock played it all down. He was far too busy signing autographs and meeting with his panorama parishioners. The hot lap runoff, after all, was still 30 minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's, it's, it's hard to know that, I mean, Scapey's putting in some brilliant times here and uh, you know they're one-off times and we do need to get some tyre testing done which means consistent running but uh, I think all things uh, if they work out the way we hope this afternoon uh, I'll have a big go yep a low 12 or even 11 might be on wow any scapey fans here <laughs> <laughs> The Tui's $10,000 shootout began in drizzle. Len Seaton set the pace with a 2.13, a whisker faster than Scaife. Then PB arrived to stop the clocks at 2.12.6 and pick up $10,000. Brocky! Thank you very much. And look, I just uh, judging from the media interest thus far, from the uh, crowd excitement and what a fantastic uh, number of people have turned up here to watch this uh, event here this afternoon. I think we're in for the best Tui's 1000 we've ever seen. I'm looking forward to it. Good on you, Rocky. Mike Raymond reporting for Sports World. Looking good, isn't it, for the uh, great race in the first weekend in October at